Howdy folks, welcome back to another Turbo 350 rebuild video here. We got our pump all apart. I went ahead and cleaned everything up. And we're getting ready to put this thing back together. And the first thing you want to do is you want to get your pump here. And install our... This is the front half because it's got the front seal on it. But we're going to install our gears. First, so there's our gears, and you want to make sure when you install these, there's a little dot right here. Make sure that's facing up. I went ahead and put some transmission fluid in here, so everything is good and lubricated. Nothing's dry, and that little dot goes up, goes down in there like that. Then you got your other gear. This one has a dot as well. You want to make sure that's facing up. Just like that. It makes that complete. You want to take and press this little, there's a little check ball here. It's a spring underneath of this. Just press it down. Make sure that it presses down. Mine does fine. And comes back up so our springs get in there. And the next thing you want to do is we'll set this aside and you want to take and install this piston here which is right here it has 30 springs on it now i've set all the springs back on so the next thing we want to do this is our final thing to do to the front half of the pump here some of these have this hole and some of it doesn't you want to make sure that if you have it there's a little valve and a spring that installs in here which is this right here right here and it has a little spring on it and it installs right here on this hole right here so you want to take in spring put that in like that and it's got this little valve here that installs just like that you want to take your thumb just push it up and down a couple times make sure that it comes back up and that it's working properly mine works fine so the next thing we want to do is we want to take our other half of the pump here and we have to take that and turn it upside down on this half of the pump and start getting it lined up and then once we do that then we can install our piston and our spring assembly and our retainer. It's a good idea too to take some compressed air and blow out all these oil passages because there are several all the way around it. I've already did that. But you want to blow in all these passages all the way around to make sure there's no dirt or nothing in there. Mine had mud divers in this hole right here and in this one his hole was completely clogged up this one goes all the way through to that hole and it was completely clogged up and i had to get all that cleaned out and i blew air through all these holes to make sure all that's clean because it's really really important you want to make sure and do that all right so i got both halves of this pump lined back up i just took a permanent marker before i pulled it apart in the previous video and we took and just marked from here all the way down that's one way to do it so it lines back up right you want to make sure that all these holes are lined up right it only goes one way so the next step we're going to do is we're going to start our piston and i've already went ahead and installed new lip seals on it all the way around there's one on the outside there's one on the inside and mine takes 30 springs you want to make sure and check all these springs real good. Make sure they're not broken or anything. Mine are in really good shape. So we want to take and install this. And this is a little bit of a trick to it. And you got to be careful because you don't want to tear the seal. Sometimes you can turn it a couple times. But you have to install this before you can install your retainer down there. 
So sometimes you can turn it back and forth to get it to drop down in there. But you just want to be really careful not tear these seals up. It's really important. So I'm going to get this down installed. Alright, so I went ahead and got this piston installed. And the way I did it is I just kept rotating it. And if you put it in on one side and just rotate it really easy, you want to be really gentle with it and put a good bit of transmission fluid all the way around in the bore down in here before you put the piston on and put some on the lip seal rings. But if you put it in there a little bit sideways to get this started, you can rotate this by turning it and that'll help it go in. You can rotate it one way and then rotate it the other way and just be real gentle with it to get it to go back in. So that's how you'd install that. You want to make sure too that these pump halves are lined up. That's really important. Line is lined up. And we're going to install our retainer. Which is this right here. And we're just going to snug it up for now. Also keep in mind that this retainer only installs one way. And I went ahead and put a marker right here to line both halves of the pump up. And this retainer only installs one way. Because two of these bolts are actually closer together. So you just want to keep that in mind. It's a little tip there. So now we're just going to snug these down. These are a half inch. We're going to snug them down. And we'll get ready to torque them down. So you want to make sure and go in a star pattern here. So that they're you can tighten them down evenly. So we'll do that one, and we'll do this one, and this one, and we'll go to this one, and then that one, and just keep tightening them all the way till this end right here is all the way at the bottom right there, and then just snug them. That's all you want to do is just snug them for now. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is I got two bolts here. And we're going to stick these two, two of the holes, one right here, one right across. And we're going to get ready and torque this to spec. What these bolts do is help center this so that these holes are centered up like they're supposed to be. And that way it keeps everything nice and center. Alright, so the next thing you want to do is get you a torque wrench. I've set it to 5 foot-pounds. And we're going to do this in three steps. We're going to do five first, then ten, and then the final torque is fifteen. And you still want to do these again in a star pattern. You want to do this one, then that one, then that one right here, and one there, and one there. You want to make sure you're doing a star pattern. That way it tightens this down evenly because you don't want to bend this. And I've already got two bolts in here to keep this pump even. Some people use clamps to put around it. That's fine. I don't really have any. I can use bolts and nuts to hold it together. Same thing. That works fine. So the next thing we want to do is we want to torque these down to five foot pounds for the first step. So now we're going to set our torque wrench to 10 foot pounds for the second step here. And we're doing this in uh, three steps. That way this tighten, tightens down evenly. That's the main thing. And we want to make sure as we torque it down, we'll take these bolts out here that it's center which it is so let's tighten this down to 10 foot pounds and again in a star pattern always doing a star pattern and this will be the second step all right so i got the final torque set on my torque wrench it is at 15 foot pounds and we're going to tighten this down the final time here this is our final torque and we will be good to go. Hard to do. Holding, uh, trying to hold this pump and torque these down to spec. And let me do this real quick, and then we'll come back. And don't forget to do these in a star pattern. Alright, so we got these torqued down to 15 foot pounds all the way around. We went in a star pattern. And we are done with that. Now, if you go back in the previous video, I went ahead and installed you Teflon seal and rings. This one has five. This is one, two, three, four, five 
Teflon things on it. So you want to make sure that uh, you got your new uh, five sealing rings for your pump here. The two at the top are different size, they're a little bit smaller. And the three on the bottom are a little bit bigger. So you got one, two, three, four, and five. I've already installed them. You want to make sure they are all not notched together like they're supposed to be. And you want to take, make sure, and flip this pump over, pull these bolts out. And when you flip it over, you want to look down these holes and make sure all these are centered up. Mine are all in good shape. So we're good to go there, and we are ready to install this back in the case. And before you do that, you don't you don't want to forget there's a thrust washer that goes right here, which is this right here. Don't forget to install that. Yeah, some of y'all might have a shim. Mine don't. Mine just has this thrust washer. But some of them have the shim in there to correct the end plate. And that's the next thing we're getting ready to do. So we're going to install our thrust washer here. It's got a little tang on it. That installs down here. So just drop this down until that lines up like that. You can take a little bit of uh, transmission foot, put around the bottom here of it and the top of the thrust washer if you want to hold it in place. But a lot of people do it different. That's how I do it. But we're going to go ahead and put this pump back in the case because we're ready to check the end plate now. And once we check that, we're going to put it, put it back in for good. So let's check that now.